Hello everyone, welcome to my Weka API course. In this course, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Weka from your Java source code. Um, I know a lot of people are familiar with the uh, GUI version of Weka, the actual tool itself, but in this, co in this course, as I said, we'll be using it from our Java source code. That's my name, and you can find a link to my personal page underneath this video. Now, I'm going to be making a few assumptions. For example, I'm going to be assuming that you are familiar and comfortable with programming in Java uh, and you can access the Weka API. Maybe you can download the uh, Weka jar file. I'm going to be mainly using Eclipse for the programming. I'll show you how to set up the environment and I'm using Ubuntu Linux, but if you're using Windows or Mac, things shouldn't be too different. Now, to set up things, I'll show you how do you include the uh, Weka API, or the, the jar file, into Eclipse. Uh, I can also show you how to do, uh, set up your class path in Ubuntu. As I said, things should not be very different if you're using Windows or Mac. That's for the uh, Eclipse uh, setup. If you want to set up your class path, then you can double check uh, uh, how to do that for your, oper for your operating system. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we set up the environment in, in, in Eclipse and then create a small program just to import the uh, Weka package and make sure that everything is working nicely. One more thing I'd like you to notice that you will find a link to the source code underneath the video. So in the comments area, I'll put a link so you can find the source code. Now, enough talking. Let's go to... Uh, Eclipse, let me create a new project, new Java project. We'll give it a name, maybe we can call it, for example, um, um, Weka API or something like that. And then we go next. Uh, things will be in our source, and we just do finish as you can see. Now we go to Weka API. We go to source and then we'll add a new class so it's a new class and then we can probably call it for example hello weka and then we we'll give it a package maybe weka.api we'll give, we'll give the yeah we'll give a package weka.api so our class is hello weka and we do finish so what we can do now is of course the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, uh, import the Weka package, so we right click on the project, please pay attention here, right click on the project name, build path, and then you go configure build path, and then you go to um, <coughs> libraries, and then so Java build path, libraries, and then add, ex add external jars, you go and then you go to where you have Weka, so I have it in my binaries, uh, I'm, I have different versions of Weka as you can see here, let's go to, let's go for Weka 3.7.11 and then we just click on uh, Weka.jar and then we click OK. That way we have set, uh, s uh, set up Eclipse so we can now access the Weka API, we can access the Weka classes from the jar file, the Weka package. Now what I, what I can do for example is I can say import Weka. as you can see now um, uh, um, um, Eclipse, I'm sorry, can recognize it and we can say, for example, import weka.star and then we can say here, for example, system dot just to print out something, dot, dot print line, for example, hello weka, just to make sure it's working, I'm sorry, and then we just um, why is it complaining? Let's have a look. Hello, Weka. System. Out of print line. Oh yeah, of course, of course, it's complaining. We need to have our main method, public, static, void main, and then string array of string args, and then we just copy and paste that into our main method, and then compile, and things should be things will be working nicely. So we just save, control S, and then run it. And then as you can see here, we can see hello Weka. So that's how to set up uh, 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 Eclipse to uh, use Weka 
and then that's how we start importing the Weka package and that's what, how we are going to be doing things. Now, as for the class part in your system, if you're using Ubuntu as me, then we can say, for example, echo the environment variable class path, or you can say export class path equals, and then you can give it the, uh, uh, the path to where Weka is, path to Weka.jar or something like that. Or if you're using, um, if you want to add it to the existing class path, then, then you just use variable class path and then colon. And so what, what this will do is it'll add this path to the existing class path rather than uh, having a fresh class path which only has this in it as you can see so that's how we do it nice and simple we just uh, oh by the way one thing I forgot to mention that you should be able to use your web browser for example to download so just go to Weka API then you should be able to access the documentation here this is a list of all the packages in Weka and the list of all the classes we can click on any package for example record.classifiers and then we can see here the classes inside this package um, and then for each class we can for example go for classifier and then in classifier we have ad3 ode and things like that all the uh, existing classifiers in weka now if you, you can click on any of them to read the methods to have a look at the methods and uh, uh, variables inside it, for example, 0R classifier. Can, you can see all the methods, um, capabilities, and things like that. We'll come to how to use this, how to use build classifier to build a classifier, but one thing I'd like you to be familiar with is reading this documentation and understanding what everything means. So, build classifier, it generates the classifier, we pass it a variable of type instances instances is another class in java class instances what it does class for handling an ordered set of weighted instances and this is how you typically use it so the good thing about the java documentation the, the api is that we actually have some code snippets some examples on how to use something and then for the jar file of course you need to go to the uh, i'm sorry actual website or just if you just say weka then you can go there, the universal of Waikato, and you should be able to download and unzip or unpack the file. So you go to um, download, and then you can download for Windows uh, or for you know your operating system, the one that you are using, the developer version, developer version, or any of the stable versions. So I know I trust that you can do that. I know it's very basic. I just wanted to make sure that we are all on the same page. From the next video on, we'll be seriously using the Java, uh, the Weka package and the API to import and use Weka from our Java source code. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.